Ever. You saved him. You rescued my little one. What would we ever do without you? Every day until the day I die, I shall pray to all the gods for your health. Uh, that's a lot of lip service. Loyalty plus three for the barony. 600 XP. Oh, she's gone. Alright, well, we resolved that quest. That's done. <laughs> Who's that character? It's Peasant Jenna. And then like a snail triggers the filter. Uh, go to the main square to sell junk at the merchant. Get rid of a lot of the rubbish that's in our bag. It's not an RPG without a sell junk button. Right here. So let's see, we've done uh, his quest, her quest. Maybe done his quest, his quest for this chapter, because I mean, we found him. Uh, we've done his, the Troll Revenge. They might have a quest. And Tristan might. Let's see, show me your wares. Sell the junk. And that also clears a lot of weight as well. Get rid of the dupe items. There's no way I'm going to need that. Alright, that's sufficient. Okay. Let's chat with another person and see if we find another quest. Uh, Octavia. Let's see. Looks like we've already exhausted most of her stuff. Could you tell me about your life in slavery? Not really a cheery topic, but here we go. I don't like to recall it, but if you insist, she frowns, the slavers from the Technic League tried to ruin my life, but all they could do was ruin my childhood. How did you find yourself in the Stolen Lands? My enslavers from the Technic League funded a large expedition into the Stolen Lands. A hundred agents, tens of slaves, wagons. We were to search for some ancient artifacts or ancient ruins. Octavia shrugs. Our group never made it to the Technic League hideout. Along the way, it was attacked by the future owner of the Stoner Lands himself, and I'll be forever grateful to him for it. She winks cheerfully. That's me! Um, Where did you learn magic? Oh, I was taught by Janush of Starfall, one of the most famous wizards in Numaria. Maestro Janush, as he insisted on calling himself. Octavia's voice overflows with contemptuous sarcasm. Anyone would be happy to learn from such a great master, and only a talentless bitch like me would dare to reject his teachings and indulge in her laziness. At least that's what Maestro Janush used to repeat constantly while whipping knowledge into my back. The great maestro was a big fan of punishment. Octavia's lips press into a thin line. The Technic League didn't care if a few slaves died under the master's whip as long as Maestro Janush provided an arcane trained one in return. Officially, there is no slavery in Demaria, but the Technic League is above any law. A slave with an aptitude for the arcane is worth much more than a regular one. The slave's repertoire is limited to the simplest and safest spells, of course. Uh, behave like a sail. Yeah. Oh, Jinxie, he's, he's quoting this. Oh gosh, where is it? Who's that character? It's Pikachu! It's Queen Jenna! F That's what he was trying to quote. Did you have many masters? Yes, many of them. They owned me for years. Others felt that they had enough of me in a couple of months. Trust me, I did all I could to make every master eager to get rid of me. A slave that's trained in magic is a rather expensive thing, so they wouldn't kill me. At least that was the hope. So I drooled and played an idiot. I listened as every new master argued with my former one trying to return me. Sometimes I punctured the pages of magic books that I was forced to copy with a quill. Other times I pretended to mix up spells, so instead of lightning a, lighting a magic torch, I set a dozens of dancing lights floating just below the ceiling. Of course, most of the tricks of mine usually ended badly. I got punished on a regular basis. My back still remembers the master's whips, though all of my scars from those times are long gone. Have you ever tried to run away? What a silly question. Of course I tried. As soon as we saw even the tiniest opportunity to get free, Red, Reg and I grabbed for it. On one occasion, we jumped into uh, the cart from the uh, jumped from the cart into the river. There was a time when we spent weeks trying to dismantle the far wall of the barracks to make a path out. Sometimes we attacked our guards when they least expected it. We craved freedom. We lived only to dream about it. Those short days, sometimes weeks, that we spent on the run were the happiest days of my life. 
We used to hide in the woods or blend in with the crowd on the streets of Starfall. Midnight stars were our guiding lights, and we shared our dream with them to uh, reach the River Kingdoms. For in those lands, they were neither, neither slaves nor masters. We were starving and freezing, but that was the real life. Too bad it usually ended too soon. The Technic League agents always found us in the end. I don't know how they managed to do it. Probably used magic, or maybe it was just our fate. They whipped us and returned us to our old masters, or sold us to new ones, if the old ones refused to pay. So we were slaves again, but the dream about the River Kingdoms never left our hearts. Her talking about how they could keep finding them and they didn't know how makes me think of Dragon Age and the phylactery system. Did your masters ever hurt you? We already know that's a yes. You figured that out, didn't you? She narrows her eyes. Or maybe you want to hear all about the beatings I survived, the humiliations I've endured. Imagine the worst thing one person can do to another and multiply it tenfold. That's what happened to me nearly every day in slavery. Masters. Oh, how I hate that word. She shakes her head furiously, making her locks dance. They punished me because they wanted to hurt me. But what hurt even more was the mere fact of their existence. Uh, let's say something else. Octavia stops you, gently touching your hand. Wait, I... I want to tell you... She sighs and shakes her head as if trying to collect her thoughts. The Technic League agents you rescued us from. Reg and I tried to run away many times, but they always managed to find us eventually. I have no reason to hope that this time they've lost track of us for good. Hmm... Uh, evil, I never throw away valuable resources. <laughs> um, I won't let anyone harm those who are dear to me. Whatever happens, you can count on me. She raises her eyes to you and gives you such a warm smile that you're unable to not smile back. In the depths of her eyes, you notice something that wasn't there before. This unnamed feeling hides it for a moment, but you're sure you know what it was. Trust. Thank you, she whispers, touching your shoulder. Suddenly, she frowns in contemplation, twirling her locks. Still, I'd like to find them first. Why do you need to find them? I broke free from slavery. Thanks to you, I've obtained everything I've dreamed of. My freedom and the opportunity to control my own life. I want to use this opportunity to fight the Technic League. At least the part of it that operates here in Stolen Lands. I wish to free all the slaves from their Technic League masters. Octavia gives you a warm smile and gently touches your hand. I do believe that while we're together, we could achieve a lot. Even this. <laughs> I don't need you any longer. Go away. <laughs> Imagine clicking that right now. All right, we'll talk later. Sure, anytime. Raganagar. Um, how do you like my party? I think it's grand. You have a fine gang of lunatics here. I myself am no noble from high society. Haha, <laughs> but seriously, Octavia and I never even dreamed of a leader like you. We imagined we'd sit in the woods and rob wagons, maybe join a band of mercenaries, but we never expected to become the henchman of a local ruler. Not to mention, such a pretty one. Ha ha. He winks at you playfully. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm flirting with her. Uh... Hmm. I thought you and Octavia were together. Wouldn't she be jealous? Octavia and I are connected, and this connection cannot be broken. We grew into each other, you know. Jealousy is for weak cowards who don't trust each other and are scared of being tricked. If a knight on the side threatens your love, that means there was no real love there to begin with. <laughs> this guy, he's like, she'll be happy to be the third wheel. She'll be honored to. She and I are together to the end, and we will never part from each other. So in the likes of some lad or lass, it's no drama to me. I just ask her whether she wants me to leave them alone or join in, and she does the same. <laughs> no, there is no need to be afraid of my Octavia's jealousy, but be aware of the tenderness. Haha, -ha, not everyone can handle her. Okay. I want to politely decline, but it's either be really mean to him or flirt back. I don't like these. I'll flirt back and let him down later. Are you serious? You better not joke like that. What if I happen to like you too? The half-orc approaches you closely and locks eyes with you. What if it's not a joke, huh? After a pause, he steps back and laughs heartily. I'm joking, I'm joking. Or am I? We could discuss it later, another time and place. Leave the party. Immediately. <laughs> I gotta go. So long. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Don't be shy. Just don't go pale when I answer. Heh <laughs> heh. What if? Unless. Yeah. Okay, there's one party member left that we haven't really talked to much. And that's Tristan. Alright, so we're gonna tap quick save here, because we already did all that talking. 
Uh, Tristan smiles as you approach. Greetings. How may this humble chosen of the great Saren Ray help you? You called yourself the chosen of Saren Ray? What did you mean? Sorry, that was a mere jest. Other acolytes at my temple used to tease me with that title. That should tell you how pious and devoted I was compared to them. And yet my faith is strong. Saren Ray knows this and protects me in times of great peril. If something ever threatens my life by her divine powers, I am transported to a safe location. Um, what can you tell me of Saren Ray? She's the goddess of temperance and patience. Solar Flame Goddess teaches us compassion for the weary and mercy for those who go astray. What would you like to know? Uh, how is she worshipped? Many worship Solar Flame Goddess in her temples. Some make the pilgrimage to the Everlight Oasis, but even those who do not serve the goddess directly rarely shun from festivities directed to, dedicated to her. The Sun Wrought Festival, for one. What are the temples like? Saren Ray's sh uh, shrines are often open to the uh, sky and to the goddess life bringing sunlight. Her light fills the temple, enshrouds the parish in warmth, and grants its blessings to all in need. In Kalesh, the crown gathers during the services so that all may feel the blessings of the goddess. The most ingenious devices are constructed by some of the faithful to please the goddess. I have seen a temple of Saren Ray which housed a complicated array of mirrors, all to direct the light of the sun to the altar. Uh, tell me of the Everlight Oasis. I've never been there, but the stories say it's a wondrous place, sacred to Saren Ray's faithful. The oasis is located in Zel Shabar, which lies in Kazmaran. Pilgrims from around Galarian travel there, seeking the goddess's blessing. According to the legend, the waters of the Everlight Oasis are imbued with healing properties, and anyone who bathes in them shall be cured of any ailment. He smiles and thought, just imagine, a place where people from all around the world come to gather to worship, what stories they must share. And what is the Samarat Festival you mentioned? The festival takes place on the day of the summer solstice, when the prayers of her flock can reach Saren Ray the easiest. On this day, Kalesh blooms with color in each color of the pa Padisha Empire. The people praise the goddess by dancing and singing, setting off fireworks and flying kites. I hope this beautiful custom shall one day reach your lands as well. That's all I want to know about that. Uh, what, what is this option? The more I hear, the more I think your god is not worth a damn. <laughs> God. All right, now I'm, I'm good talking for now. Okay. All right, let's get the band together. Uh, oh, wait, can I exit town How right there? much longer, I wonder? Oh, that goes to the tower. Uh, okay, let's go down here. Chaotic evil playthrough in. No. I'm a good boy. All right, let's continue opening up that world map. Um, keep that part here. Hey guys, hey Bear Cowan, how you doing? Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. So we got some area over here that's not been opened up yet. Let's go there. Good in you, doing good. Just gaming. All right. Let's go check out the mud bowl. March, march. All so the witch march. wanted us to check this out, and if we get this reward to go back to the witch, we could both turn in this quest and buy the book from her that the other guy wanted. All right. Let's try to. Uh, I am prepared. I don't think I need to do full My skills are getting rusty. You guys, don't hesitate. I will put in a mossy travisi. I'm gonna do just like the simplest buffs. I appreciate privacy. Alright. Let's try this out. Let us strike as one! Why is Lindsay's like asleep or something? I'm waiting on her to turn the song on. I don't know what happened to her, but uh, that was not good. Dude, like what is going on? She's nauseated for 20 more seconds. 
I, need to I think what's happening is I'm trying Becoming to loot this stuff, and it's assigning Lindsay the job of looting it, but she CC'd and can't do it, so then just nothing happens, despite the fact that anyone else in the party could pick it up. I don't even know how she got nauseated. She hit some kind of weird swamp gas as soon as we entered the room or something. Not that I care. Okay. Think we got everything here. Uh wait, was there Nope, that's the top. Okay, no. Nope. That was the that's the roof of the map. It just doesn't look like it looking at the that uh paper map. Okay, so it was just one I don't even want to know if I can say mini boss. It was just one uh thing. March, march. All I do is march. Pictures of Spider-Man! Are those saber tooth tigers? Yes. They are my adorable little friends. Oh my god. Uh Time's not okay. Waiting. Quiet. I'm thinking. Focus on the goal. What's new? You have permission to use grenades. A dull moment. I am yours to command. I don't know how tough this thing is. Hey, it is not resistant so, to grenade. Skin the wyvern. I'm this sure that's worth some money. Wyvern is weak against USA. <laughs> Let Time freedom to get some rest, isn't it? What is this? Wolf Lair? Should I rest for it? Yeah, I should rest. I don't know how tough this is gonna be. And there is uh New all my life. Everyone is like tired. Fear, fire. One more thing that's changed. I wonder how will this influence their culture? Will they begin cooking on open fires? Or gather around the bonfire to sit and chat in the evening like we do? I have a scientist friend who'd be thrilled at such questions. <laughs> Nikundai is like, oh god, the ramifications of trolls that are immune to fire, and Jubilos is like, ooh, science. Your people go across the map so quickly, is that a setting you can change? Uh, I don't think I've touched that anywhere, no. No mistakes. Alright, let's put the Any basic more buffs up. Any more you require my assistance? Anything is possible. Give the order. What troubles you? Ala so down. Ala so down. Ala so down. Quadritium, Turinos, Lizono, Danium, Bona, Adayana. I forgot protection from arrows, but this is called a wolf layer, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need it. Encumbrance affects map travel speed might be part of what they're seeing. Mmm. Yeah, if your party's tired or encumbered, they the little toy piece, uh, the little game piece on the map that does move around more slowly. I've been buying every bag of holding I could find, and also the animal companions help alleviate the uh, carry capacity issue. So I've really not had an issue with that. God, we are tearing through these things. I've only had one, found one bag of holding so far. Ba every other, like every major merchant sells one. Like I think the guy at the trading post is the first one you find. Wolf's wolf victims book. 
Oh, another no, melted I shard can't. of a ring. Can't enter that cave. I've seen this map on a different area, like this tile set, but in the other area where I saw it, it was a... Uh, you could enter the cave, but here you can't. How much... Muck somehow has so much more carry capacity. I think the animal companions, so like, how much you can carry, I think, is all your party's strength added together in some formula. And I think it's also including my saber-toothed tigers in that formula. All right, so we need to get back to Swamp Witch's Hut. We've got two quests there. I could try to go around it, but it's free XP. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. You deserved it. Oh my. Bad. At an end. Oh my god, Akundayo just died. Like, full died. What? Valerie, you're not doing a good job of tanking. Last chapter. Let's go back in time a minute. Free? Yeah, free. As soon as I, I call him free XP and Akundayo gets murdered. Alright, let's privacy. do this. To victory! Jubilos, you have leave to throw grenades. Actually, I think it's over. Ready for anything. The Kundayo became free XP. <laughs> Yo, that was just a road encounter. That was a lot of wolves and alpha wolves for a road encounter. Granted, because I was traveling, I wasn't buffed, so that was part of it. And they got the full surround, so they Valerie couldn't hold all of their attention. Okay, continue. Let's go visit the witch. So the witch wanted those mushrooms for something or another. Uh, she was willing to pay for them. And then also, uh, Alchemist Bakken wants us to look at purchasing a book from her. Uh, give her the mushrooms. Here are your black rattle caps. The old woman smells the mushrooms and takes a small bite. She chews on it slowly for a moment, then grins a gleam in her eye. Ha! <laughs> Strong! These will be good, all right. You gain gold and XP. Uh, tell her about the coins. I've learned what happened to the village, slain the monster, and freed a cursed soul. She listens to your tale, nodding her head. So that's how it all happened. A scary thing to the, uh, this, it is, this curse and all. It would seem just a tall tale, but here we are. The village is gone, so who's to blame, you think? Uh, I never realized you could have this conversation. Hmm. Uh... What do you think? The old woman slowly smiles and shakes her head. Now more than ever, she reminds you of a fae of the forest. It's not up to me, judging folk. Gods can judge. It's easy for them, for they know everything. The young folks can judge as well. It's even easier for them, for they know nothing. And I... I just keep it all in my memory. 
Uh, trade. Okay. Looking for... Mushroom stone. Okay. Of transmutations and bodily poisons. That's it. Buy that and sell this stuff. All right. Those two quests are done. I normally wouldn't, because that, that was non-magical random loot on the ground, but I, I can carry so much weight now, I'll just grab it, and it'll get sold the next time I do sell junk. Okay, cool. So hit quick save. So we just knocked out two more things. And let's just go to the nearest chunk of the map that's not open and open it up. Wrath is really good, too. Wrath of the Righteous? Yes. Uh, I have done a full playthrough of Wrath of the Righteous, um, like, right when it came out. And you can watch the full thing if you're interested on the Mucklet Plays YouTube channel that I'm linking in the chat. Uh, so. Positive energy against undead. There we go. Yeah, there's like it's like 150 episodes or something. That was a juicy playthrough. It was a lot. So it is there for your binging pleasure if you want it. Follow Pathfinder me. Kingmaker, I've also Our played before, dogs. but I played it right when the game launched. So one, that was five years ago, and I don't remember a lot of the details. Two, it was a buggy mess. So I've been itching to do a new pl another playthrough after, you know, one, I've forgotten a lot of the, the details, and two, uh, after they have fixed a lot of the problems. Oh, time to get some rest, isn't it? Well, that's just a dead end. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, go ahead and rest. That's fine. I respect useful books, but who needs shallow stories? Fables about a knight who slew a dragon won't help you if you meet a dragon in real life. Then they'll write books about me, Lindsay the Dragon Slayer. Or no, more like Lindsay who was not afraid to challenge a dragon and get heroically eaten in her prime. <laughs> Sounds good, huh? I'd read it. <laughs> Random loopy loo through the forest. Uh, I can cross the bridge there into another area. Ah! What a treat to see Mug play one of my favorite games. Glad you're enjoying it, Caton. Nowhere to run. Uh oh. Oh, uh, that's not good. A clever boy. There we go. I didn't even see these there. My path at an end. Okay, that hurt. Focus on the goal. We leveled up! Alright. Uh, let's see. Inquisitor gets us the next level of summon monster and another teamwork feat. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, get a normal feat as well. Hmm. Hmm. I think a super who you need here. Vital Strike. You may make a single attack that does significantly more damage than normal. As a standard action, you can make one attack at your highest base attack bonus that does additional damage. Roll the weapon's damage a dice for the attack twice and add the results together before adding bonuses from strength weapon abilities. At your highest base attack 
bonus. What is additional damage? Okay. Roll the weapon's damage twice and add the results together. Roll the weapon's damage dice for the attack twice and add them together before adding some Huh. That's interesting. I wouldn't mind trying that. He's got a reach weapon. Um, teamwork feat. Coordinated defense. Combat maneuvers. Seize the moment. Sure. Spells. Uh, what do we want here? We've already got access to pretty much all of these. We sometimes run out of heroisms on Lindsay. I guess I can take another one. So what can we summon now? Now what? Mm. Brilani, Azada, or Redcap? Is it just random? Brolani, it's like an archer guy? I think an Azada is a creature from like one of the planes? Like the heaven type planes? All right, fighter, armor training, tower shield training. Uh, yeah, I get the usual stuff. And she gets another feat, ability focus bombs. Oh, because I did Alchemist. No, <laughs> no, you're not getting ability focused bobs. That's not your job. <sighs> Crane Wing. When fighting defensively with at least one hand free, get plus four dodge bonus to AC. Um, that's really cool, but she's got a dagger with plus three AC all the time. So that's totally fine, like what she's got now. Mm -hmm. Proved initiative, persuasive. Shake it off. Hammer the gap. Don't know that any of this is really huge for me. We've already got armor focus heavy, I think. Yeah, we do. We've already got armor focus heavy. I don't think there's anything else here I can get that is going to increase my armor class more than what it already is. So I could just do improved initiative, which is always de it's always an okay choice for everybody. All right, Kundayo. Ranger, and he gets favored terrain. All right, and level his stuff up. And Deadly Aim is basically Power Attack, Improved Critical, Accomplished Sneak Attacker. That's 1d6 if he's shooting something not aiming at him. Out Does Outflank work at range? I'm con I still don't fully understand if flanking works with a ranged attack in this game, so I've been kind of avoiding that since I didn't really know. Good deadly aim. Favored terrain. Uh, you get plus two bonus to initiative checks and lore, nature, perception, and stealth skills when you're on your favorite terrain. We've already got forest. Um... Underground. All right, can he have deadly aim? Yeah, so he can have deadly aim and rapid shot both on. All right. All right, Lindsay's turn. And she's getting inspire greatness. Uh, creature inspired with greatness gains two bonus hit dies. The collision number of temporary hit points. I don't know that I'm going to use this much, but her song will be a little bit better for her new level. Uh, trickery, since she's been doing the lock picking lately. 
Mm, combat casting. Anything here. Her main thing is just sing that song. She's not really running out of it, so I don't know that I need to do extra songs. Yeah, there's extra performance right there, but she's already got enough for, like, any day. Which song do you sing with her? The the combat one? The one that helps in a fight? Hmm. Deceitful, Endurance, Extra Performance. Rapid Shot. Could do Rapid Shot? I mean, she's basically firing a crossbow repeatedly while she's, uh... While she's singing. Wouldn't hurt. Pick one spell. Um, another heal wouldn't hurt. Alright, and that's it. Okay, so the other two haven't leveled yet. Alright, uh, collect all. We're still under the lowest threshold. Oh, do I need to mess with anyone's spells? Yes, he just got one here. What do we want to put here? Sickening Entanglement. Uh, could be useful in niche situations. Spike Growth could also be decent in different situations. Her stuff's all spontaneous. He didn't level up yet. She didn't level up yet. Okay. Um... Just making all the connections for the map. Time to get some rest, isn't it? All right. We should gather our strength. Let him rest one last time, then we'll the save it. The stolen lands are a most intriguing place. I think a delicately decorated guide to the stolen lands by Jubilos Narthropple would sell quicker than sobering elixirs after a city festival. <laughs> no one responds. Like, yeah, I'd buy that. Yeah, as far as which song do we use on Lindsay? She's got... Is it Inspire Courage? Um, let's see. Plus one to saving throw against charm and fear, plus one to attack and damage rolls. And after level five, it becomes plus two to attack and damage rolls. Uh, and that's where it's at right now. So it's the ba mainly the plus two to attack and damage rolls and plus one to all saves during combat is her primary job. That's That's the main thing that she does. Dappled Quagmire. All right, so whatever that is, that is new. And that can be the first thing that we visit next time.